七號。So, I'm on Mrs. Rider Guiders XT250. We're going to do a little bit of a road test review and see how it performs on a freeway and a specific one because coming out of Adelaide up towards Stirling, which is where I'm heading, we have quite a steep hill and it's a 90, 100 k's an hour ride. So, let's see how it performs up the hill. We've got 250 cc's. About 17, 18 horsepower, apparently. Maybe a little bit less, I don't know. But it'd be interesting to see how it performs going up the hill. It's a 90, 100 km an hour road. And you want to know, as an owner of a bike, or if somebody's potentially looking at buying one of these, whether or not you're going to get swallowed up by traffic, or whether or not you can actually hold your own at the speed limit and not be having to be the shrinking violet and hiding out of the way. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. I've got a feeling it's quite a steep hill so it might run out of speed out of steam towards the top. But we'll see. It's it's just one of these things that this is a great little road isn't it? A hairpin coming up now. Oh, there's Mrs. Rider Guider. We're off up to the hills. Winnie Bago ish. I say, yes, and it like that. Oof. Living the dream. Now, there's nothing in my left hand lane. I'm sneaking out. Let's see how we go up here. Doing well, it's good acceleration, but we're not on the hill, not on the steep bit yet. So that's fifth. Let's see how we go. I mean, I'm 90 k's an hour there. I could get in and draft. Just watch that high looks or whatever it is. It's coming out. I've got a slow moving truck now. Have I got the confidence to get into the outside lane? I actually have. I could sit and draft this uh, camper van. Well, that's 105 k's an hour indicated. It's not bad, is it? There's uh, Mrs. Rider Guider. Hello. Well, she seems to be on her own. We haven't got to, again. We haven't got to the steep bit yet. That's amazing. That's very, very impressive. Now, of course, the, the hill starts now, and it's that steep, your ears will be popping at the top. I don't think that'll affect you on YouTube as a viewer. Just want to make sure I'm not in this person's blind spot. A little bit close to Mitsubishi, but I want to just drop to fourth there. Keep my momentum, I want to keep the momentum. I don't want to suddenly find myself running out of steam, so. It is clearly a powerful enough motorbike to come up this hill. It is absolutely swallowing it up. For a little 250, that is mightily impressive. I'm holding 100 k's an hour. And uh, it won't look that steep. It wasn't forecast to rain. I hope that's not going to stay. But that's fifth gear, and I'm going to slow it down to about 90. Now I've got this, see what's happening here, I've got this slow moving truck, this yellow, orange one's like it to come out, here it is, it's indicating now, it got beyond him. And it's pulling, it's pulling through 90 up to 100 again. That's not bad, because this won't look that steep in relation to the footage you're seeing, but it is quite a climb. And for a little 250, that's been mightily impressive through the tunnels. Doesn't rain in here. Wow, well I'm impressed with that. Mightily good. 
I'm impressed. Tractable little engine considering it's only, I don't know how many horses it is, somebody will let me know how many ponies it's got under its uh, tank. But I can't, I can't fault it. What a cracking little bike. I know it's got the capability of holding its own. So yeah, that's a good little test for it. Let's see it in fifth gear now. I'm going to pull hard up here now, see how we go. Look at that. 100, 103, 104. Now it won't be going that fast, that's probably reading a bit fast. But 100, 107, that'll... 110 indicators, so that's probably 100 k's an hour. And it pulled in top gear from 90 uphill to 110. Not bad. Very tractable, impressive stuff.